Dormu began as just one of many summons, but quickly grew into one of the most prominent of the series. He is often one of the most friendly and helpful of the summoned monsters, and a wise grandfatherly mentor to the heroes. Romu's name may be derived from Lamu, an ancient Mesopotamian god whose name means Harry. Lamu and his female counterpart Lahamu were born from the deities Apsu and Tiamat, and he is described as a bearded man wearing a red sash and four to six curls on his head. However, Lamu was associated with water, not lightning, and the exact role he and Lahamu play in creation legends varies in different depictions. The source of Ramu's association with lightning is not fully clear. Ancient religions and mythologies are full of gods who can control the weather and create thunderstorms, but none bear a particularly strong resemblance to Ramu. In Japan, there was a thunder god named Raijin, but he and Ramu have little in common. Raijin is depicted as an angry, muscular figure who creates the sound of thunder by pounding on drums. Ramu has a particular resemblance to the Norse god Odin, who is described as walking among humans disguised as an old man in a grey cloak. But Odin is not particularly associated with thunder and lightning. Those are the domain of Thor. Much as Shiva in Hinduism does not have a particularly strong connection to ice and cold, it's possible the name Ramu was chosen from ancient mythology without concern if his namesake deity was associated with storms. Ramu's appearance in Final Fantasy is an elderly man in robes with a long beard and mustache and carrying a staff. He sometimes has white hair, but other times is balding, and his mustache is long enough to flow into his beard. Ramu's beard is his most distinguishing physical feature, and is sometimes remarked upon in-game for its great size. His robes are usually some shade of grey with a blue or yellow tint, and maybe plain cloth, but in other games his robes have patterns on them to make them more ornate and impressive looking. The design of his staff varies greatly, but is often forked in some manner to give the idea of a lightning bolt and may have an orb or crystal embedded in it. Drawing inspiration from imagery of Raijin, some games give Ramu a crest around his shoulders and head, or have him manifest lightning in a similar manner. Ramu's signature attack is Judgment Bolt. The attack variably depicts Ramu raising his staff to summon lightning to strike the field, firing lightning from his staff, or throwing his staff at his targets to act as a lightning rod for lightning to strike it and around it. His other attacks include Thunderbolt, Thunderstorm, Shock Strike, and the various tiers of Thunder Magic. More generally, he can often attack with orbs and beams of electricity, and strike opponents with his staff. He is sometimes able to use abilities like Drain, Osmos, and Siphon to damage enemies and heal himself. Aside from the higher tier summons, like Leviathan and Bahamut, Ramu often has the largest story wall of any of the summoned monsters. He is one of the most friendly and wise summons, and often gives the party information to help them. He is often spoken of as a judge and arbiter, who smites the wicked and gives his aid to those he deems worthy. While other summons often require the party to best them in battle to earn the right to command them, Ramu tends to offer his help willingly, or has the party prove their worth by passing a trial other than facing him in battle. It is actually comparatively uncommon for players to fight Ramu, though this has loosened in later games. Ramu is often depicted as part of a trio with Shiva and Ifrit, representing the basic elemental magics of lightning, ice, and fire. While Shiva and Ifrit tend to be rivals, Ramu is often a mediator between the two and they respect him and yield to his word. The exact order in which they are acquired and who is strongest among them varies, but the three are often among the first summons the party can access. Early games place him as a low power summon, but as later games have had fewer summoned monsters with emphasized importance, it has become common for Ramu to be ranked with Leviathan and Bahamut as one of the most powerful summons. In this, he is the iconic lightning elemental summoned monster of Final Fantasy. While there have been others, like Ixion and Quetzalcoatl, that take his place in some titles, they are nowhere near as prolific as Ramu. In Final Fantasy III, Ramu is summoned by the rank 3 summon magic Spark, which can be purchased in Repleto or Doga's Manor. When summoned, he uses one of three effects based on the job that summoned him. His attacks are Mind Blast, which paralyzes enemies, Thunderstorm, which deals lightning damage to one enemy, and Judgment Bolt, which deals lightning damage to all enemies. As with all summons in the NES version of Final Fantasy III, his sprite changed depending on which attack he used, but in the 3D and Pixel Remaster versions, he does not. In Final Fantasy IV, Ramu is one of several new idolons learned by Rydia when she rejoins the party as an adult. 
The original Super NES localization named him Indra, a Hindu god who is the king of heaven and is associated with storms and the weather. All later localizations revert to the name Ramu. His summon attack is Judgment Bolt and deals lightning elemental damage to all enemies. In the Game Boy Advance and PSP ports with the Lunar Ruins, Ramu is one of the four Eidolons that leaves Iridia during her Lunar Trial, and must be defeated in battle to get him back. Lunar Ramu is the boss of Sid's Lunar Trial, and attacks Sid out of anger for Sid flying his airship through his skies. Lunar Ramu attacks with Thundaga, Thunderbolt, and Lightning, but is straightforward to defeat. In the sequel The After Years, the mysterious girl enslaves the Eidolons, and uses Ramu to strike down Porm and the Elder of Mycidia to seize the Crystal of Mycidia. In the final chapter, he is fought when Rydia and her party visit Mycidia, and he attacks them. During the battle, Ramu will eventually begin to come to his senses, and if the player ceases attacking him, he will rejoin Rydia. In the PSP exclusive interlude chapter, Ramu is one of four Eidolons the Rydia imposter acquires in the Tower of Babel, and she summons him against the party as part of a boss gauntlet that acts as the final boss of the chapter. Final Fantasy V marks the first time Ramu must be faced as an enemy. He has a random encounter in Bots' world and the force around a story, and when defeated drops an item that adds him as a summon. Ramu is one of three rank 2 summons with Ifrit and Shiva, but has higher power than the two of them, and uses Judgment Bolt to attack enemies. This game also marks the first time Ramu is associated with Ifrit or Shiva. When he is defeated, Ifrit speaks to him and the two recognize each other. Ramu plays a major role in Final Fantasy VI. When Terra makes contact with the frozen Esper Valagamanda, she loses control of her powers and transforms into her Esper form. Ramu senses this and calls her to him, and she flies to meet him atop a tower in Zozo. When the party finds Terra in Ramu's care, he reveals himself to them and gives a lengthy explanation of the War of the Magi, including that the Espers fled to a different dimension after the war. Because Ramu looks comparatively human relative to most espers, he has been able to live in the human world, hiding his true nature. To help Terra come to terms with her powers, Ramu suggests the party infiltrate the Empire's Magitech research facility to rescue the captured espers the Empire is experimenting on, as one of them may be able to help her. Ramu also reveals to the party the secret of esper magic lies in Magisite, the remains of an esper after it dies. To help them rescue the other espers, he entrusts them with three Magisite shards of other Espers who died fleeing the Empire, and turns himself to Magisite as well. Ramu is the sole offensive Esper the party has until they acquire Ifrit and Shiva in the Magitech research facility, and the two recognize his power when they yield to the party. Ramu teaches the spells Thunder, Thundara, and Poison, and boosts stamina by one as a level up bonus. When summoned he uses Judgment Bolt, translated as Bolt Fist in the original Super NES localization. In Final Fantasy VII, Ramu's summon materia is acquired in the Gold Saucer, found in the Chocobo Jockey Room after Barret faces Dine. If the player doesn't pick it up when they have the chance, the material will become unobtainable for the rest of the game. Ramu performs Judgment Bolt to deal lightning damage to all enemies. Final Fantasy VII Remake does not have Ramu available in the base game, but he is added in the Integrade release as a summon materia obtained by Yuffie, and it's the only summon she can use aside from DLC add-ons. The player must face Ramu as a boss in Chadley's combat simulator to earn his materia. Ramu fights by electrifying parts of the floor to trap and stun Yuffie, rendering her vulnerable to his more powerful attacks. Ramu can call down lightning strikes, conjure orbs of lightning, and fire beams of lightning that circle him. As he attacks, orbs of lightning appear behind his head, signaling him charging up to use Judgment Bolt, which deals massive, unavoidable damage. As a summon, Ramu can use Voltaic Lance to fire lightning from a staff that electrifies the floor, Circuitous Bolt to fire four beams of electricity around him, and his finishing move is Judgment Bolt. Ramu plays an important story role again in Final Fantasy IX. When Zidane, Garnet, and Vivi are fleeing Alexandria Castle through the Gorgon Rue, the mount is spooked and takes them past their intended destination to the Pinnacle Rocks. Ramu appears to them and offers his aid to Garnet as an Eidolon if she completes a trial. The trial has the player retrieving fragments of a story. The story is actually a retelling of the life of Joseph from Final Fantasy II, and how he aided the party at the cost of his life. When Garnet returns to Ramu and arranges the fragments of the story in the proper order, Ramu becomes her Eidolon. 
Strictly speaking, Ramu is not the first Eidolon Garnet can summon. She has many Eidolons at the start of the game, but their MP costs are restrictively high, a condition that is removed once Ramu is acquired. The story intent is that Garnet is not yet able to call her Eidolons, and Ramu is the first one she learns to summon properly. Ramu is learned from the Peridot add-on, and uses Judgment Bolt when summoned, which grows stronger as the party acquires more Peridots. Ramu is mentioned on the Eidolon wall in Madain Sari, which posits how Eidolons come into existence from legends passed down through the ages, and the Thunder God Ramu was one such legend. The game is purposefully ambiguous if in such cases the Eidolon inspired such legends, or if the legends somehow spawned the Eidolon. Ramu in Final Fantasy XI is one of the six celestial avatars, which represent the six elements. According to legend, Ramu was a sage from a nation on the Buburimu Peninsula, who innovated advanced technology powered by lightning. But when one of his machines predicted the village would be devastated by disasters, the people didn't believe him, and when the disaster occurred, they became suspicious if Ramu somehow caused them. Ramu exiled himself to an island while the village rejected technology. Years later, when the village was attacked by beastmen, the village asked Ramu for help. He returned and cast lightning from his staff to destroy the beastmen, but the village was fearful of his display of power and he was exiled again. Though Ramu's nation collapsed, the goddess Altana transformed him into the Avatar of Lightning in recognition of his selflessness. Summoners can acquire the ability to call Ramu by completing the Trial by Lightning quest. Ramu's Astral Flow ability is Judgment Bolt, and he also uses Shock Strike, Thunder Spark, Thunder Storm, Volt Strike, and Thunder Spells. Ramu and the other Celestial Avatars also appear in the quest Waking the Beast, when the Terrestrial Avatar Carbuncle tries to revive the Terrestrial Avatar Fenrir using a sample of power from each of the Celestial Avatars, and the six protest Carbuncle using their power in such a manner. Ramu does not appear in Final Fantasy XII, its position as the Esper of Lightning taken by a Dremelec. He appears in the sequel Revenant Wings as the Rank 3 Flying Thunder Summon, and can use Judgment Bolt and Judgment Storm as its attacks. The other Flying Thunder Summons are Ramu, an automaton created by Ramu, and Raiden, a young man that is Ramu's pupil. Ramu makes a cameo in Final Fantasy XIII in Nautilus during the Eidolon Parade, and he is summoned by a Cocoon Le Sea to battle Ifrit commanded by a Pulse Le Sea. Concept art for Ramu as a Fal Sea exists, and depict him as a massive old man towering over the landscape and smoking a pipe. Final Fantasy XIV depicts Ramu as the primal of the sylphs. Unlike other primals, he is more moderate in temperament and is said to only act to defend his followers. He appears in the patch 2.3 storyline, Defenders of Eorzea. The sylphs of the Twelves would summon Ramu out of fear of human refugees fleeing into the region, and while the summoning concerns the Eorzean alliance, they are on relatively peaceful terms with the sylphs and want to avoid provoking them. Since Ramu has a reputation as a peaceful and wise arbiter, the Warrior of Light and the Scions of the Seventh Dawn are asked to speak with him in the hopes of resolving things peacefully. The Sylphs try to keep the Scions from discovering Ramu by leading them to other areas, but they only succeed in helping them confirm Ramu's location by the process of elimination. When the Scions find Ramu, he is dubious of their claims of seeking peace, as he makes no distinction between the nations of man and blames them all for the chaos and destruction mankind has wrought. However, he eventually agrees to entertain the idea if the Warrior of Light proves their strength to him, and demonstrates they have the power to champion the cause of peace. When the Warrior prevails, Ramu is satisfied and departs. Ramu is fought in the trial, The Striking Tree. His attacks include Thunderstorm, which strikes five random players dealing damage in a radius around them, and leaves behind orbs of lightning that power up his Shock Strike attack. He can tether players together with lightning, causing them to take damage when they use skills, and the tether can only be removed by one of the players running through three orbs of lightning. At a certain point in the fight, Ramu will summon three Grey Arbiters and prepares to use Judgment Bolt. Judgment Bolt will wipe out the party normally, but if the Grey Arbiters are killed before he uses it, its damage is mitigated to survivable levels. In the Shadowbringers expansion, a parallel world known as the First has been decimated by a flood of light. As part of a plan to restore the world, New primals are created from the Warrior of Light's memories of their encounters with them. However, the Warrior's memories are distorted, resulting in a new Ramu that is a centaur, a fusion of Ramu and Ixion. The Ramu of the First is fought in the Eden's Verse series of raids. 
In place of Judgment Bolt, his signature attack is Judgment Volts. He can also use Judgment Jolt, which leaves behind orbs of lightning. Similar to the original Ramu, the player must pass through three of these orbs to be protected from Divine Judgment Volts, which would otherwise be fatal. His other attacks are also reminiscent of the original Ramu, such as his Thunderstorm attack, and summoning storm clouds that pursue players. He can also call down spears that act as lightning rods, and summon adds called Will of Ramu and Will of Ixion. A wind-up Ramu can be crafted as a minion, and there is also a mount of the first incarnation of Ramu. Within the pantheon of the Twelve, the gods of Eorzea, there is the god Relgir. Relgir embodies the power of lightning, and is depicted as a bearded magus carrying a bronze staff. Grahatia theorizes that Ramu and Relgir may originate from the same being, with man and sylph each forming their own legends about them over time. For now, any connection they may have is unclear, but the Twelve are the focus of the ongoing Myths of the Realm questline, so these mysteries may be explained in the near future. In Final Fantasy XV, Ramu is one of the six Astrals, the gods of Eos. In Eos's ancient history, after their war with the rogue Astral Ifrit, Ramu came to rest on the Isle of Angel God, where condemned criminals were sent for him to pass judgment on them. Two thousand years later, Luna Freya went to Angel God and awoke Ramu to ask him to form a covenant with Noctis. Ramu reaches out to Noctis and to Sky during a fierce thunderstorm, and he is tasked to find three runestones in the region to earn Ramu's covenant. After completing the task, Noctis and his friends infiltrate an Imperial base to retrieve their car, and Noctis summons Ramu to obliterate the base. Ramu has no summoning restrictions or requirements like most other Astrals, but he does have two different attacks depending on if Noctis is in a dungeon or outdoors when summoned. Outside, Ramu appears and reaches down to pick up Noctis, and then throws his electrified staff at the target, creating an electrical explosion. When summoned indoors, Ramu appears looming over the landscape, summons a lightning bolt to his hand to form his staff, and hurls it at the target, and it breaks into the environment to electrify the area. A note on Ramu's design in this game is that his staff bears the torso and head of a unicorn on the top, a nod to Ixion. Ramu has appeared in countless other Final Fantasy games, including Tactics, Tactics Advance, Final Fantasy Dimensions, Dimensions 2, Dissidia, and World of Final Fantasy. He is sometimes closely associated with Garnet due to her storyline connection with him. In Final Fantasy Dimensions, Ramu appears in the Cave of Fulmination, and must be fought to earn him as an Eidolon. In Dimensions 2, Ramu is a vessel of Odin and Shiva, the rulers of Eidola, the land of Eidolons. He and Ifrit welcome the party to Eidola, and he is one of the first summons they can acquire by completing quests for him. There is no lightning element in this game, so Ramu is wind elemental, but his attacks are effective against machine-type enemies in reference to his usual element. His summon attacks include Judgment Bolt and Thundaja, and his other attacks are Spark, Thunder, and Thundara. There is a corrupted variant of Ramu, Dark Ramu, that instead attacks with Thunder Rush, which deals multiple hits of wind damage. In the City of Final Fantasy, Ramu seals the opponent's summon temporarily. In the City of NT, his summon passive increases the rate at which buffing skills charge, and when summoned he uses Thunderstorm and Judgment Bolt. In Opera Omnia, Ramu boosts the party's max brave and defense. As a boss, Ramu will summon electrically charged crystals that reduce or nullify the damage he takes while they are present. In Final Fantasy Record Keeper, Ramu is the thematic focus of several of Garnet's soul breaks. Ramu also appears as the rank 6 Magicite boss for Lightning. Ramu can regularly electrify his staff based on how many party members are infused with the element of Earth. While Ramu's staff is electrified, any action the characters take inflicts damage on them until he uses Thunderous Judgment Bolt and his staff loses its charge. The higher his Electrify level, the more powerful his counterattacks and Judgment Bolt are. Final Fantasy Explorers has a unique take on Ramu, depicting him as a feline man-beast. Ramu summons electrified crystals that make him invincible, forcing the party to destroy them to temporarily render him vulnerable. In Final Fantasy Brave Exvius, Ramu lives on an island in isolation and must be defeated to earn the right to summon him. Ramu acts more hostile than usual at first, and is openly contemptuous of humans for daring to speak to him, but this is an act to test the party's resolve and see if they are evil and deserving of judgment. When he is defeated, Ramu reveals his true colors and joins them. In World of Final Fantasy, Ramu is one of the Pleiad Seven, 
summon particularly powerful mirages in Grimoire. Lon and Rain encounter him with Ifrit and Shiva in the Nether Nebula early in the game, and the three invite the twins to battle one of them to prove themselves. The player can choose which of the three to face, and earns the Prismarium for the infant form of whichever they beat. Ramu's lesser forms are Zapt and Zapier, and his unique attack is Judgment Bolt. Later in the game, Ramu offers Lightning his aid against Odin, and reveals he has a granddaughter, Ramul. She is young and unable to control her power, so she uses a magical battery to store her lightning and release it in bursts. Ramu can be transfigured into Ramul, and her unique move is Heaven's Wrath, which strikes multiple targets. Ramu also has an alternate line of forms, Jolt, Volter, and Rairamu, which have different stat growth. In Super Smash Bros., the Final Fantasy VII incarnation of Ramu is one of the summons that can appear on the Midgar stage. His effect electrifies the floating platforms in the arena, damaging anyone who steps on them. Finally, Ramu has been revealed to be appearing in the upcoming Final Fantasy XVI, but as of this video, nothing else is known about him. Thank you to everyone for watching. Remember to like and subscribe for more lore Final Fantasy in the future, and stop by the community tab on my channel to vote on the next subject.